What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the hustle. If you are new to the channel, what's up? My name is Tony and I like to share my knowledge and my experience on how to make money with cargo vans. So make sure you hit that like button for more content like this. All right guys, so I took a few weeks off because I was spending some quality time with my family as it's the holidays. I had drivers covering both of my routes, the one in New Jersey as well as the one in the Bronx. But I'm back now, it just feels good to take some time off. It feels good to recharge. This business can be flexible if you're making the right friends, if you're making the right networking. I'm back in my little route using the Transit Connect here in New Jersey. And my driver, he's gonna be staying doing the route in the Bronx. So I'm gonna be taking a break from the Bronx also. But the reason of this video is, a lot of people don't believe that I'm grossing over $300 a day with this cargo van. And I wanna show you exactly what I do to make that money. This is also to answer the question as to what can you do as a one man operation. I've had a lot of people ask me, hey Tony, I know you got two cargo vans, you got four contracts, but if I get into this business, how much can I make just me with one van, one person? So I'm gonna give you an example of how much I'm making with this cargo van so you can have an idea as to what one man operation can produce. I work with a carrier and have four contracts. I do two contracts with this cargo van, the Ford Transit, and as well as do two contracts with my Ford E350. That's the one my driver takes care of. So today we're gonna go over the dedicated routes that I have with this cargo van and how much I make daily on it. Now before we start the video, the biggest mistake I've seen is when people get one contract and they settle. In this game, you actually gotta try to get as many contracts as possible and combine them together. Each of my vans have two dedicated contracts. That's how I have it set up. All right, guys. My day starts at this station next to the conveyor belt. All merchandise goes through here, so I just gotta grab what's mine by looking at the numbers. All contractors have different numerations and that's how we can tell which are ours. Once I have everything, I sold them and I scan them. And as you can see, today we have six stops. Keep in mind, this is after my main van has already left the Bronx. But we only talking about this cargo van today. Anyways, now I'm ready to bring in the van and start the loading process. When loading, I load the last stop first and the first stop last for easy access when I'm out there making these deliveries. You wanna make things run as smooth as possible before heading to the road to avoid causing delays or mistakes. The stops always remain the same. The only thing that changes is the amount of boxes that they order each day. Most of this work is hands-on. You will be touching freight all the time, but as long as you have the right tools, the job will be easy. So it's up to you how well you prepare yourself and your business. Other than that, I enjoy being out on the road. I enjoy the scenery going through downtown Jersey City all while I work at my own pace. By 10.30 a.m., I'll be completed with my route and I'm just left with empty containers and no later than 11 a.m. I'll be home. This is when I take some time to send some emails, play video games, or take a nap. I could also use this time to make more money, which I do by taking on extra work, work from apps, or doing recovery jobs when somebody breaks down. Instead, I'm making this video for you guys, so make sure you hit the like button. All right, let's talk about this first route that we just did. Let's call it route one. I showed you from the beginning to the end. This route takes about six hours to complete and it pays $180 per day. 
Fast forward to 2 p.m. where I arrived to the warehouse to download all the empty containers for my morning route. And why 2 p.m. you ask? Well, that's the time my other contract starts. So once I'm fully downloaded, I proceed to pick out my afternoon route and deliver it to a pharmacy in the Bronx. This will take no more than two hours to complete, and sometimes I even do it for my personal car. Alright, let's talk about the second contract I have on this cargo van. Let's call it Route 2. For Route 2, I'm getting paid a total of $135 per day. It's usually one to two stops, and as mentioned before, it takes less than two hours to complete. All right, guys, so Route 1 was $180, and then Route 2 was $135. And that's gonna bring us to a total of $315 per day using this Ford Transit Connect cargo van. Now, this is only for the contracts. It's not including any additional extra work that I take. And of course, it's not including my main van that goes out to the Bronx. Now, if you multiply that by five, five days a week, that's roughly $1,600 a week. But that money is not tax. So at the end of the year, I have to pay taxes on it. Just keep that in mind. And then of course you got expenses. As far as expenses go, I pay around $65 on tolls just for the afternoon contract because I gotta cross the bridge and go to the Bronx. So I gotta pay tolls every day. And then it takes a full tank plus half just to finish the week that's gonna be around $65 on gas every week I no longer make payments on this cargo van is paid off as well as the red cargo van so I don't have to worry about that something I should mention though I bought this van with a purpose and it worked out great for me and my situation I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't have a contract for it first since smaller contracts are harder to come by a lot of people are scared of taxes, but as long as you take full advantage of the system of what the IRS can offer you and what your LLC can offer you, and as long as you track your spending and write off whatever you gotta write off, you should be okay at the end of the year. Guys, it's a new year around the corner, so have some goals, write them down, and execute them. That's exactly what I did in 2021. I put this business idea into motion, and by January 1st, 2022, I landed my first contract. It's been two years, I've been gradually getting better and bigger. So that goes to say that if you put in the work, you're gonna see results.